Hey, hey, this is Matthew Belmont and welcome to another trailer reaction video. Today I'm going to talk about uh, Missing Link. No, not the 1988 movie. Oh no, from Universal about Nostril Pithecus Robustus. No, I'm talking about uh, the stop motion feature film by Lakia from the makers of uh, Coraline, uh, Paranorman and Kubo and the Two Strings, and Box Trolls. Yeah. So this is, uh, Missing Link. How will that work? A stop-motion Bigfoot picture. Well, I'm going to give it a watch. And is it worth a watch? <laughs> oh, that's better. The search for his kind, I'll bring that proof of the greatest discovery of the century, will become an adventure. Caught this monster. <laughs> that looks like a good movie. I can't wait to watch it. So, yeah, it's about time a uh, stop motion uh, ape like uh, creature should appear. I'm not talking about King Kong, more like uh, the Bigfoot uh, Sasquatch creature. And I mean, Willis O'Brien tried to make uh, Yeti come to the screen, but uh, failed with. Uh, and this was Baboon, Tale of the Yeti, in the 1950s. This is going to be his next King Kong, but uh, never got made. And then there was Ray Harryhausen planned for a film about the abominable snowman in like the 30s and 40s, but never happened. And uh, then David Allen tried to bring an abominable snowman to life in with the primevals. I'll get to that later. And yes, that Yeti was orange, <laughs> just like the one in the, in the film. Then William Stromberg tried to make a Yeti movie after a crater leg monster called Giant from the Unknown. It's about uh, a, a Bigfoot creature with uh, a man in a suit and for long shots showing his superhuman strength with stop motion animation. That never got made and uh, and uh, Jim Danforth tried to make a Yeti project with Track of the Yeti, but uh, 
that never got made. So, but the only stop motion Yeti we ever got was the Abominable Snowman from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer by Rankin Bass in the, in the 60s. Also comes to my attention that uh, the Primevals, see one, oh yeah, before I talk about the Primevals, I say that this, uh, it's a joke, that uh, this uh, missing link is a, uh, pr is a descendant of, uh, no, ancestor to the caveman in Early Man. Give that a watch. So, I can only just see Miss Missing Link. It's worth a watch. And, uh, it's all done with model animation. I mean, when the guy nudges the Missing Link on his fat gut, you can see it was like a replacement animation of fur being squashed a bit. And then when he's done nudging it, boom, goes back to normal. I can see the cartoon physics there. So, anyway, uh, going back to the primevals, see one movie with an orange yeti, see Missing Link, but see another movie with an orange yeti, see the primevals, and I want you to go down to the link below to help fund the post-production of David Allen's The Primevals, because that's been stuck in, like, a development since 1994. I mean, in 1967, he came up with the idea to do it, but uh, never got made. And then, 1978, he pitched up the Charles Band, and it was an on-again, off-again kind of picture. They say it's coming out in, it was 1978. Oh, it's going to come out in 1980. Not going to happen. Then, 1984. Oh, it's going to come out in 86. Nothing happened. Oh, it's going to come out in uh, 88. Nothing happened. 92. It's going to come out in 94. It didn't happen. 94. Oh, it's going to come out in 96. 96. Oh, it's going to come out in uh, 99. Nothing happened. And then David Allen died. And uh, in 2000, it was reported on Cinemagic. Yeah, Cinemagic did constant reports on the primevals. And it announced, oh, we're going to do... Oh, we're going to continue on for a 2001 release with Chris Endicott and Kent Burton. Nothing happens. 2001. Oh, we're going to give it a 2003 or 4 release. Nothing happened. So, I want you to go down to this link. <laughs> I mean, this link below. And, and uh, talk to your parents or friends or anyone who has lots of money to fund the post-production of the primevals. And if, you, and if you can't fund it, don't worry. Spread it around other message boards. And tell them, if you want to, that Matthew B. Lamont sent you there. So this is Matthew B. Lamont telling you don't forget to like and, and subscribe. And, uh, please fund the primevals. Thank you.